Um, all right, let's move to to Indiana, Kansas a little bit. And uh, I was there. I don't know how much you saw of it. Uh, I watched this morning. Was you did? Okay, good. Um, I mean, Indiana played great for 35 minutes. Really, Agreed. seriously, 35 minutes. They had them. And the whole time, Rob, I'm not going to lie, I was like, Kansas is going to win this game. I mean, they're they're going to win this game. I, just I feel don't... like Bill Self has won more games where they trail and then they just yeah. punch in the mouth yeah. with about three to go. <laughs> and the game ends and you're looking around, you're like, what the hell happened? Right. I think that's, that's the way Mike Woodson felt. I'm I think sure that's the way he had to have felt because Mackenzie and Baco played awesome the first half. Absolutely. Yep. The best How about getting to the rim. All- Get get into the basket a little yes. bit. Yes. Yeah, that was – and then he made some shots in the perimeter. And he guarded. He likes those pin downs too. He, and he, he guarded, was, Rob. He, he did. He That's did. the biggest thing for me with him. Like, yeah. he'll stay on the court if he can guard and not be a liability. And it, it's hard because it's hard to ask him to guard threes. You know what his plus minus was? No. Plus 12. Yeah, he was good. And everybody – I mean, everybody else like minus seven, minus yeah. four, minus four, minus one, minus 16, three, minus three. He was plus 12. Well, listen, you know, Khalil Ware, that was his first off game. That was his first mm-hmm. game that he he struggled. He struggled. UConn, he struggled against UConn. Oh, he did. That's true. That's true. He he is struck. I will say this. I think he's played really hard. I think yeah. he's been he's been really good for Indiana. But I do think that when he runs into physical bigs that match sure. his size, it, it's a problem. Of course. And UConn and, and Kansas can match yep. his size. No, that's – that. listen, that's what you always thought with Khalil Ware, right? Like mm. against the Armies, against the Florida Gulf Coast, against those yeah. teams, he, he was, he's been dominant. And, and it looked good because his effort was there. Here's what I'll say with Khalil Ware. Still, the problem – part of the problem is still the guard play. Just isn't good enough to take the pressure off. I mean, There's Gabe no Cups played 37 minutes, and I I think he's he's a good player. I heard yeah. what Bill Self said, where you know if Xavier Johnson's back and he's coming off the bench, yeah. that's fine. But you're just you're asking him to do something that he is not ready to do as a freshman, and he's going to give great effort, yes. and he's going to guard his ass off, yep. and he'll do everything Mike Woodson asked him to do. But he's just not ready to produce. Now, I will say, I I was really happy to see Trey Galloway play well. He was great. So I, I'm sure that this season has been hard for him. And I've I've been there as a player where you were on a team and some of the better guys leave and you're kind of looking around and you're like, you know, last year yeah. <laughs> these shots were coming a little easier yeah. and now I've moved up on the scouting report and I don't have the the players maybe around me that that were making things easy like a Trace Jackson Davis. I mean, he shot what like fifty plus from three last They're year. They're all uncontested. Every one. But of he them. was getting. I mean, right. Yeah, Trace was so good at, at kicking those yes. those balls out of the post that he got great looks. And I thought for him, getting those couple in transition early was big time for him. Yeah. Whenever Indiana can do that, they've got to run. They've got to use their athleticism, their length, and let their defense help their half-court offense, yeah. which we saw in the second half. I, and and really, the second half, Renew and, and Ware did not play great, no. um, especially on, on the offensive end. But anytime they can run, they, they need to run. They need to get out and get going. They, well, part of it too, Rob, is when they were attacking, there's no rim protection for Kansas. Hmm. Like that's not what Hunter is. So they just attacked no. early yeah. and again, took it to the basket. They were able to get there. And and on the flip side, I'm sitting there watching, I'm watching Dewan Harris and I'm like, how are you not going after Gabe Cups early? Yeah. Especially because Dewan Harris can kind of crank the dial on the pressure. Like he, he can take your, yeah. your rock and so can McCullough. I, I thought there was one or two times where maybe – like, they ran and jumped him. Yeah, I think they ran enough. and jumped him late. But not that was enough. only one time, and maybe one or two other times they heated him up. I'm I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that I, I thought maybe C.J. Gunn could could be more of a factor offensively. Just because he was his big-time scorer out of Lawrence North, and, and he just – he shot the ball so poorly in his time at Indiana, and he's just never been able to get going. The end of the game, it was like everything that – Kansas hadn't done they 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 did right like it was it was literally Dewan Harris just decides you know what I'm gonna go to the basket and, and hit yep. this runner off the gl- high off the yeah, glass tough shot Hunter tough shot. just I mean they, they feed him the ball and Hunter the, shot, the two the he shots. made middle middle of the, of the post oh. like they, they were big time those, and then McCuller counts. and McCuller who again I I've and I love Kevin McCuller to death I one of my favorite kids and players but he shot in the low 30s his whole career from three. He hits a huge three. He hits a couple of huge free throws. I, I'm I'm honestly 
Real no, like I, I mean this, Rob, because when a kid works as hard as he works, and another one I saw today, a Texas Tech alum as well, Terrence Shannon. We'll get to that. Those two kids were were not they were non shooters. Yeah, right. And they both become good shooters. Why? Because they get in the damn gym, they work hard. Do you know when I knew that McCullough was going to be a better shooter this year? There's your boy. I, what's that? Say that again. I said, do you know when I knew that McCullough was going to be a better shooter this year? By by the law of Goodman, it's like like Galileo's law type thing. By the law of Goodman, I saw him at Illinois, and some of their assistants were talking about how he altered his release, and I saw it. I'm like, wow, he's getting more arc on it. It's going in. He made a couple, and I told you this, and you go, he can't shoot. And right then, it's like lightning struck me, and I was like, he's going to shoot the ball way better this year. And that's what I knew. Yeah, well, again, we're still a third of the way through. I hope I'm wrong because I love McCullough. <laughs> I do like, but you know, yeah, what's he shoot? Thirty seven now. He was thirty seven, yeah, I mean, but that's good enough. Oh, I mean, totally. He, I mean, good that's, that's all if I he need. shoots thirty seven the rest of the way, I might change my tune on Kansas. Yeah, because- I will say though, with Kansas, their their bench is not great. Jamar McDowell did make a couple <laughs> plays yeah, that you were. You don't think so? No. Well, I mean, come on, I'm yes. kidding. I'm kidding. I just think right. the shoot. I mean, Nick Timberlake has been just Can't he just shoot. cannot make a shot right now. His McCall confidence good is things. shot. It's it's yeah, not yeah. that he can't make a shot, Rob. His confidence, he's got none. No, agree. They they need Furphy. Um, and, and sir, I, actually, I thought on Marco Jackson, he made some some big plays to start the second half. But they they're going to need a little bit more if they're going to reach just, their full ceiling. Yeah, I just don't know where they're getting it from because like Parker Brown was overmatched again. Furphy's yeah. one hundred and seventy two pounds. You know, he, he's not ready physically to be able to impact right now. El Marco's not a shooter. McDowell actually made a, a big time He made shot. a three. Yeah. yeah. He made a couple of plays that were, yeah. were, yep. uh, were good. No, he's come along. He's mm-hmm. come along. The other guys need to come along soon. Like, yeah. you can't. McDowell was a late bloomer, right? He was like a kid that was not even in the top 250 yeah. and then all of a sudden was, you know, getting offered. I just by, don't understand. I, I mean, I guess in the world of the portal, you know, you don't know. They lost Arterio Morris, obviously, yeah. to the off-the-court issues. But even with Arterio, they're, they're thin. So, yeah. And they don't have shooting. And yeah. I, I just, again, my take is you can never have enough shooters right now, and you can never have enough point guards. No, that's true. And I just don't understand how they're that thin. And Indiana, same thing, like they're banged. Well, yeah, did, you, did, you did you hear anything about um, Xavier Johnson? Yeah, I think he'll be back soon. That's good. I think he'll be back soon. Foot injury. I thought he was already going to be back, and and it's kind of lingered. I guess this is his um, other foot from what was. Yeah. From what is he the was. answer though, Rob? Like ultimately, here's my take on Indiana. Like he's obviously their best perimeter shooter, and, and the crazy part is but he's like, he's low volume. Right. I mean, but he's right. by percentage, yeah. But like, is he the answer to where they could be if they get a healthy Xavier Johnson? Do you feel like they're an NCAA tournament team, or do you feel like the jury's still out on that? I would still think the jury's out. Yeah. I just you lose to Auburn by thirty, and I know he didn't play in that game. Um, New York was pretty disappointing. Um, had to pull away late from Louisville. I you just said this. I I just don't know how they can make enough threes. I mean, they don't shoot a lot. They shot sixteen. There's teams that are doubling that up. You know, there's teams that are shooting yeah. thirty. And yeah. 31 and 32, you're just from a, from a like a mathematical standpoint, you are so far behind the eight ball. I just think that teams are going to dare them to to shoot and just load up on their bigs and load up on the drive. Um, yeah, I I I don't know if he solves that problem to get him there, but they do need him. I mean, he is their best guard. There's no doubt in my mind that that he is. It's 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 all about roster constru- construction for me at Indiana and like. Yeah. Again, point guard play, you know, like, you know, but he they goes, thought that they had their point guard, Xavier Johnson. You know, they they felt good about that. But but he, Rob, they didn't even know he was going to be eligible until the summer. Remember, he but, had to get the. But didn't they he, feel like they had a pretty good chance? How do you ever know with the NCAA? Well, I mean, I mean, come on, that's true. I would have yeah. had a third point guard in case Xavier Johnson didn't get clear. Like again, it's just some of these programs that are really good, and I know that it's hard to get those bench guys that are going to be good enough because they're thinking like, why am I coming if I'm not going to play? I I do. I I guess think about too, who Indiana took in the portal. Like you get where you get Peyton Sparks who did not play and Walker and you bring in Anthony Walker, right? You bring in all these, these 
front court players. Exactly. And get a guard. You know, get a yeah, combo yeah, guard. No, I, I agree with that. Get a combo guard who can maybe shoot. maybe they thought CJ Gunn could be a guy that takes a step and he yes. just hasn't. I I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Are you got you, Caleb Banks? I mean, I I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Are you all in on Kansas or are you still like eh, no? I'm like, I, I think they're good, but I, I don't I don't put them in that same tier. They they very well could be the number one team in the country uh, tomorrow when it comes yeah. out on Monday. Just because uh, they won't uh, be Purdue will be number one. I, I think it should be. be Purdue after beating Arizona. Um, but no, I I just think the the lack of shooting and the lack of, of depth is a real concern. Yeah. Look at Arizona. Look at Purdue. Look at Connecticut. Agree. You know, those teams Agreed. like they have eight, nine, ten players where you like 